This is Todd Hazelton with Laptop Magazine. We're here at CTIA Fall 2008, and we're checking out uh, a new prototype that's running on NVIDIA's Tegra platform, um, and we're here with Opera because they just announced that they would be the, uh, the default browser on NVIDIA Tegra um, systems. So we just thought this was a really, really awesome prototype device, and we wanted to show you uh, what it looks like. So we'll start by checking out the browser here, or the uh, interface. As you can see it's all 3D rendered. And now uh, we'll go into the browser. You can see it's pretty similar to uh, uh, what you'd find on a mobile phone. And the cool thing is here, you can actually 3D render even that browser. Uh, kind of looks like a flag. But it just shows you the, the power of the Tegra chip inside. Then we can go to New York Times. It's pretty speedy. We're using a Wi Fi connection right now. All right. Now, if we go back out home, you'll see that that's still running, so it's multitasking here. We can go check out some images uh, that we might have stored in our gallery. So you can see how it kind of lines up the wall. It's real smooth 3D interface there. And we'll zoom back out. And uh, maybe we'll watch a YouTube video. You can see the awesome animations there. Now it's buffering. And a video will start playing on the, uh, on the device itself. Now while that's running, if we go back to the home screen, uh, you can actually see that that'll continue going even though we might not be watching the video anymore. We can multitask that easily and switch right over to the web browser. So while we're doing another web browser, that's still going. So pretty cool how you can just switch in between everything just like that. And there's also a, a selection of movies that you could store on here if you wanted to. And browse through kind of like a cover flow interface. And the device supports uh, 720p video. This specific one you do 720p out to uh, your LCD uh, HDTV. So again, you can see that that video is still going. Uh, we still have YouTube going, a web browser. Really impressive interface here. And so an example of uh, some of the ports you could have here, we have HDMI, a USB, a micro SD for some storage, um, and a headphone jack. And now we're going to try to uh, show you that this can actually output to uh, an LCD here. Now the thing is so now we have uh, it plugged in with an HDMI to our HDTV. You can see that it's outputting 720p right to the, uh, the TV here. President Ashton has been working with leaders from five continents. It looks really crisp. Now if we pause it on the device, we can go right out to the home screen, uh, switch to another movie if we wanted to, or even uh, browse through the rest of the device. So here we've already started a new movie. Some history is based on truth. Now if we want to go back to the device, we can go out to the home screen, and zoom around and access the rest of the, the device like we would have earlier. This is all being done directly from the handset itself. So. so it's very cool technology and uh, first devices should be out in 2009 and they'll all be bundled uh, with Opera as you can see here. 
This is Todd Hazleton with Laptop Magazine at CTIA 2008.